He would do nothing but sit with his back to the rock face and stare away west through the opening, over the cliff, over the wide lands to the black wall of Mirkwood and to the distances beyond, in which he sometimes thought he could catch glimpses of the misty mountains, small and far. If the dwarves asked him what he was doing, he answered, you said sitting on the doorstep and thinking would be my job, not to mention getting inside, so I'm sitting and thinking. But I'm afraid he was not thinking much about the job, but of what lay beyond the blue distance, the quiet western land and the hill with his hobbit home, over rock and under tree, by caves where never sun has shone, by streams that never find the sea, over snow by winter sown, and through the merry flowers of June, over grass and over stone and under mountains in the moon. Roads go ever, ever on, under cloud and under star, yet feet that wandering have gone turn at last to home afar. Eyes that fire and sword have seen and horror in the halls of stone look at last on meadows green and trees and hills they long have known.